You all right, girl? Where... Where am I? You're still at the Friends. You don't remember? Uh, I don't know. I... Uh, how did I get back here? Back? You haven't moved all night. A couple of guests found you passed out. You were drugged. What? That's what it looks like. I checked the cameras, but there was nothing on them. The crystals were wiped. When we found you last night, I called a friend of mine, a doctor. She came by and checked you out. She said you were on some kind of synth, but that you'd sleep it off. So I closed the room and kept an eye on you all night. That's not possible. I was somewhere else. April. She... What? I met April. April Ryan. I was in Arcadia, the place she spoke about. I was there. So... So I couldn't possibly have been here. Zoe, look, I've been checking in on you every 15 minutes all night long. You couldn't have gone anywhere without me noticing. You were fed some kind of hallucinogenic. You've probably been having very vivid dreams. That's impossible. I was there. I spoke with April. She was... She wasn't very cooperative. But I did speak with her. All I know is that you've been sleeping right here since we found you. You left Emma and me at the table to make a call. 20 minutes later, some guests found you passed out in the booth. They gave up their reservation quite willingly. They didn't want to get involved. Sorry about that. Sorry? Girl, it's not your fault that someone drugged you. But you might want to consider getting out of this before you get hurt. I can't just abandon Reza. I'm sure he doesn't want you to put yourself at risk like this. Did you see whoever did this to me? You don't remember anything? No. Last night's a blur. The first thing I remember is waking up in... No, I don't remember anything from the fringe. I didn't see anyone. But apparently our friend Marcus Crozier checked in just before the incident. And he brought two guests. Wait. I remember... Part of it. Marcus. The twins. Twins? They're working together. They were in Reza's apartment back in Casablanca, and they were here last night. So they must have been the ones who drugged you. Maybe. But I don't understand why they didn't just... kill me. I mean, that's the second time they've attacked me, and I'm still walking. If there's one thing I've learned, it's not to look a gift horse in the mouth. You're alive. Don't ask too many questions. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go home while I'm still... After all, Mark has turned out to be a big mistake on my part. And if Rez has gotten himself into something really dangerous... Besides, I don't know where to go from here. I might as well head back to Casablanca and wait for Reza to get in touch with me. That sounds like a good idea, girl. How do you feel? A bit woozy. But pretty good, considering... Did Emma leave already? Early this morning. She has a show later today in Moscow. I promised I'd keep her updated. So what are you going to tell her? I don't know. What you just told me, I guess. Who knows? Even if it was a dream, maybe you really did speak with April. It felt real enough. I don't know. I need to sort things out in my head. I guess I will go home. I don't feel like crossing paths with Marcus or the twins again. They were probably just trying to scare you. Your friend seems to be onto a pretty big story. Yeah. I just hope that... Ow. You okay, Zoe? Just my head. Yeah, I'm okay. You can stay here as long as you need to. And I can call my doctor friend again. No need to go to a hospital. No. I should go home. Thanks, Charlie. I really appreciate it. No problem, girl. Drop by if you're ever in town again, and keep me updated if you find your friend or if you... if you hear from April. I will, Charlie. Thanks for everything.
Hola, sweetie. Hola, sweetie. It's me. Where are you? Hi, Liv. I'm still in Newport, but I'm on my way home. Any news? Yes. You're going to Japan. Japan? I decrypted Reza's notes. Well, most of them. Okay, some of them. I'm still working on it, but I found out that he was investigating Watty Corp. Watty Corp? Really? My God, that's... that's pretty huge. What was he investigating? Don't know yet, sweetie, but he was in contact with two people at Watty, one of whom was the dead girl in his apartment. From his notes, my guess is that after leaving Newport, he would be heading to Wati City on the island of Hokkaido in northern Japan. That's where Wati Corp HQ is located. That's also everything I've got so far, I'm afraid. I'll keep working on Reza's notes, and I'll have more info for you when you get there. You mean Japan? You know, I'd try and convince you not to go, but you seemed pretty set on tracking Reza down, and all signs point to Japan. I know. I have to keep going. I... I can't give up. Not now, not this time. This is too important. If I quit... Is everything all right, Zoe? Yes and no. I'm fine. I'm not hurt or anything, but... Things have happened. Oh, I don't have time to get into it right now. But it'll make a hell of a story someday. As long as you're okay, sweetie. Like I said... I'll keep working on the notepad, and I'll call you when you get to Wati City. Safe journey. All right, Liv. Take care. So tell me about the tower. It is as most things, Azadi. Large, wasteful, and arrogant. I have never seen its like. They are building a ladder to the heavens. Maybe it's a temple of sorts. I may not know a lot about the enemy, but they're pretty religious. To call the Azadi religious would be like calling the sun warm. Their faith is all they have. If we shake that, the war is ours. I don't think that's a viable strategy, Chuan. But it's good to know that they have a weakness. Faith is a double-edged sword. This tower of theirs may be another weakness. When I was there earlier, I noticed they were still building. They have put up wooden platforms for the workers to climb. Scaffolds. Next to the tower? On the tower. If one were to climb it, one might find a way into the tower. Perfect. I need to check it out for myself. That tower must be very important to the Azadi. And like you said, it could be another weakness of theirs. You will go alone. I need to. If there are more of us, it... We are easier to spot. And if you are caught, someone still needs to return to the city with the supplies. That is our mission. That's our mission, Chuan. I'll be back before dawn. Watch your back, Raven. So, what are we doing tonight? We are not doing anything. You're staying here with Chuan. I'm going out. What? You can't go on a mission without us. I'm not going on a mission, Bren. I'm just taking a walk. Right. And that girl didn't ask you for help. Which girl? The one who disappeared. The one from Star... From that place that we can't talk about. She asked for your help, and you just dismissed her. Bryn, you don't understand. That girl Zoe, she was asking for the impossible. I left her world behind a decade ago. I swore to never go back and, and now I can't, even if I wanted to. There are other matters to attend to, other people who depend on me, on us. Whatever it was she was asking for, she'll have to find it somewhere else. 
Trust me, it's not impossible. I don't agree. If you hadn't risked your life to save mine, I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be fighting on your side, and there'd be a lot more Azadi walking around. You took a chance when you killed those soldiers back then, and it paid off, didn't it? I'm alive, and I'm on your team. It was risky, but it was the right thing to do. It's not the same thing. This is our world. Whatever goes on in the other world, it doesn't concern us. I think you're wrong, but it doesn't matter what I think. I'm still just a kid to you, right? Bryn! Bryn! (sighs) Will you need any assistance tonight, April on? I'll go alone. There may not be a curfew yet, but the soldiers will still notice two or three where they would ignore one. That is true, and I need to speak with someone who can supply us with the herbs, potions and medicines we need. Well, with Torbear in jail and Hamish doing business with the Azadi, Old Town's our best bet, but it closes with the sun. Tomorrow morning, then. First thing. Sounds good, but you'll have to go alone. Shuan and Bryn are taking care of the food tomorrow. Bin Rimei's helping them get in touch with some sympathizers. So be it. I shall make inquiries in Old Town in the morning. May the stars shine on you and your endeavors tonight, April on. Or what is it you sometimes say? Break a foot? Break a leg. But I like may the stars shine on you better, Na'ane. I'll need to find a way to get onto the scaffolding without being spotted. The delays are out of my hands, Prophet. Rebel raids in the North have impeded deliveries of the necessary raw materials, and further reinforcements from Sadir are not... Of course, I understand perfectly. We will finish on time. We have taken on more workers, and we are making progress by the day. We will reclaim the time lost, Prophet. The tower will stand ready for the inauguration. I swear by the six that I shall not disappoint you. Sadir has sent an apostle to take care of that particular problem. They say that he is one of the best, though I have yet to meet him in person. He arrives soon. As you wish, Prophet. I will put my most trusted man to the task. Please, I... Yes. You have made that abundantly clear on several occasions. It will not come to that. I will not fail you. All will be as you have asked, Prophet. Prophet. 
May the goddess bless your path, prophet. Her light will wash across this world and cleanse it of evil. That was strange. I should try and follow him, find out who this mysterious person is. Lisa, bring me my supper. I shall be dining in my office tonight. saw in the emissary's office. I should follow him. I'd like to find out who this prophet is. Benrime? Yes, what is... Oh, April. You've returned. Good. Did you want something? Where did the man in the cloak go? Who? The man who just walked through the door. He was wearing a hooded cloak. No one fitting that description has been in here, April. It's a slow night, I would have noticed. That's impossible. I saw him walk in here with my own eyes. Well, I may be old, child, but I am not blind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. I know I saw him walk in here. He couldn't have just vanished. Olivia? Yes, sweetie, it's me. Are you... <laughs> You're the bad weather. What? You're breaking up, Liv. <laughs> Static's getting worse by the hour. Parts of the wire are down. Can you hear me? Barely. This is crazy. I know. We'll have to keep it short. Any news about Reza? Not yet. But I just arrived in Wattie City. What's it like there? Nice. Chilly, but nice. What's going on? Still working. <laughs> Rez has contacted Watticorp. He protects his sources well. In the meantime, you'll need to find a way inside the corporate campus. I didn't get all of that, Liv, but call me when you have a name, okay? Hello? <laughs> Won't take long. The encryption's military grade, but I'm almost there. Okay, that's good. I should get going. Oh, and Olivia? Yes, sweetie? Thank you. I really appreciate the help. Don't be silly. <laughs> Friend too. I'd turn the world upside down to find him. I know. Thanks anyway. The connection's deteriorating, sweetie. I'll get back to work and ring you up as soon as I have something. Bye.
should be here by now. Uh, Sumimasen? Huh? Ah, Gumenasai. I thought you were someone else. I apologize. Sorry, I was just wondering, do you know how to get to the museum? Cable car, right there. The museum's on the other side of the canyon. We were supposed to go to the museum today, Yuriko and I. She's my fiance. I see. Uh, so what happened? She's late. She's not usually... Ah, who am I kidding? She's not coming. Why would you say that? We've been having problems lately. It's all my fault. How so? I've been too busy with work. I haven't paid as much attention to her as she deserves. Well, if you've prioritized your work instead of... That's not... That's not entirely true. My supervisor, he's been on my back lately. I've tried to tell you, Rico, it's only temporary, but... You know, communication is really important in a relationship. You can't just put up a wall. Tell her what's going on at work. Ask for her advice. If you include her, it will bring the two of you closer together. You're right. I just hope it's not too late to make things better. I was hoping this trip to the museum could give us a chance to really talk. Yes, talking is important, but, you know, maybe the museum isn't the best place to talk to her. No? She seemed to like it the last time we were there. All the more reason to take her somewhere else. Yes. Yes, you're right. I'm so stupid. What should I do? Women love it when guys are impulsive and romantic. Take her to dinner. Sweep her off her feet. Rico does love surprises. And we haven't really gone out on a date in so long. I'll take her to that Indian place on... Wait! That's her! That's Eureka! She's here! Thank you so much for your help. You saved our relationship. Thank you. Eureka! Eureka! Over here! I'm sorry I'm late, Kenji. There was a technical problem with the train. I tried to call, but the static... Oh! Don't worry about it, Eureka. You're here now. Look... I want to talk to you about something. What is it? It's nothing bad. I just want to talk. I've been very distant lately, and I want to make up for it. You don't have to apologize for having to work long hours. I understand. I know you understand. But it's not just about work. I haven't been there for you as much as I've wanted to. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Not at the museum, though. We're going somewhere else. Where? It's a surprise. A surprise? Really? But, Kenji, you don't like surprises. I do. I just haven't shown you that side of me yet. Hold on one second, Yuriko. Thanks for your help. Here. I know it's not much, but I want you to have these tickets. We won't be needing them. Thank you, and good luck. Who was that? My guardian angel, I think. I'll tell you all about it later. Let's go. Hello there. Oh, hello, miss. My name's Zoe. What's yours? Uh Oh, I'm Rico, Miss Zoe-san. Nice to meet you, Rico. Nice to meet you, too. Are you okay, Rico? You don't look very happy. Hmm? Oh, well, my big brother Ren was supposed to look after me while grandmother and my little brother Hiro went to the museum. But then Ren met this girl and he left me here by myself. Now Ubasan and Hiro are at the museum and I don't have a ticket. That doesn't sound very nice of Ren. He likes girls. More than he likes me, anyway. Well, honey, that's men for you. Can't you just call your grandma? I tried, but I can't get through. And since the machine is broken, I can't buy a ticket. So now I have to wait here until they come back. I have to go now, Rico. 
Oh, thank you for chatting with me, Miss Zoe-san. Maybe I'll see you later? Rico? Yes? Oh, hello, Miss Zoe-san. I managed to get hold of an extra ticket for you. Oh, really? Thank you so much, Miss Zoe-san. Now I can go to the museum to find Ubasan at Hero. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cable car. I suppose that's the only way to get across the canyon. Ticket. Oh, okay. It's for getting into the cable car and across the canyon to the museum. Welcome to Watticorp, inventors of the Watella, the Bunny Bot, and the most popular and advanced entertainment technology in the world. Please take a seat and stand clear of the closing doors. We will be departing shortly. You're about to go on an exciting journey into the heart of Watticorp and experience the amazing history behind one of the planet's most successful corporations. From the Wati Entertainment System to the Watilla and beyond, Wati Corp has provided mankind with love, happiness, and billions of hours of entertainment. And in just a few months, Wati will unveil a revolution in home entertainment with the most exciting new product in our 200-year history, Project Alchera. This is a great time to be part of our ever-expanding happy family. The future of entertainment is Wati Bright. Please ensure that you have all your belongings with you when you leave the car. Enjoy your visit to the Wati Corp Museum. Hey, so do you have a name for me? The name told you I'd... Encryption. So, are you inside yet? The line's even worse than before, Liv. I can barely hear you. Hold on. Let me... There. I've switched us over to a classified eye channel. That should stabilise things quite a bit. Of course, the eyes agent software will also light up like a Christmas tree, so we need to be quick. Are you inside Watticorp yet? Working on it. Atta girl. So, the person you need to get in touch with is one Damien Cavanaugh, with a C. And an A-U-G-H. And an A-V-A-N in the middle. Reza was in touch with Kavanaugh through Rio Kuruki, the dead girl in his apartment. Rio and Damien worked together. I remember Reza talking to Rio on the phone when I last saw him. So Damien Kavanaugh's the source. How do I find him? He's a resident of Wati City, but he's not currently on the wire. I believe Wati Corp's shielded. Mobiles won't work inside the main campus. If he's not on the wire, he must be at work. Either that or the static's messing things up. We'll have to bet on the former, since I'm already heading into the lion's den. Where exactly does he work? Don't know. I could dig into the Wati databank, but it might trigger some alarms. And we don't want to trigger any alarms, sweetie. I do know that Rio Kuruki worked as a systems analyst in biotech and that Kavanaugh's in software. I'll keep digging, and I'll send you a message if I find any more info on the guy. We should stick to just messages from now on. This connection's too risky, and the static's interfering with everything else. Okay. I will find him. I have to find him. Good luck, sweetie. And be careful. Shit. Agents have locked on. Got to run. Liv? Olivia? I hope she's okay. What are you doing? Get away from there. That exhibit is very expensive. It's not meant to be touched. Hero, what are you doing? I told him to keep his hands off the exhibit, sir. I apologize for my grandson's behavior. You should do a better job of keeping your grandson in check, ma'am. If you do that again, Hero, we're going straight home, and you're not getting any dessert tonight. Touch.
watching the exhibits will trigger the alarm. Please, ma'am, do not touch the exhibits. Enjoy your stay at the Wadi Corp Museum, ma'am. I apologize for the mess. We had some trouble with one of the exhibits. It went berserk. Don't worry, almost no one was seriously hurt. It's a staff only entrance. It probably leads into the main building, which is exactly where I need to be. Hey! That door is for staff only. Really? I'm sorry. I was、um, looking for a bathroom. No bathroom, staff only. Sorry. The only way I'm getting past that is if Olivia gives me a hand. Not literally, of course. That would be so, so wrong. What are you doing here? Obazan told you to stay with Ren. Yes, but Ren left me, and I was all by myself. But then this nice lady helped me. And... Ha ha! You're such a crybaby. Shut up! I am not a crybaby. R two. Cry baby, cry baby, cry baby. Well, you at your bed, and you're afraid of the dark. Liar! I'm not afraid of anything. Yes, you are. You're afraid of everything, and you're a chicken. I'm not. I'll prove it. Someone forgot to close their locker. It's a ventilation duct used by the bots to connect between different parts of the building. It won't budge. I'll need to wait until that bot comes back. It for over a year now. You don't see the person, do you? Just the uniform. Oh, typical. Well,、uh, of course I recognise you. You're Tara. I'm just heading up to the third floor. Up to the third floor to check some of the、um, vending machines. Oh, okay.、Uh, I'll see you later. Let me get the elevator for you. Just clearing my throat. Dry air. Sorry. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. The air. Dry. 
Mm-hmm. Almost there. Do not leave the waiting area without an authorised escort. Thank you, and have a fulfilling and productive day. This must be Damien Kavanagh's office. And that's the only person I see in here. So, Damien? Hello. Can I help you? I'm looking for Damien Kavanagh. Speaking. Well, what do you need? I have clearance to work today. I don't work here. I'm a friend of Reza Tamiz. Jericho. Jericho? Jesus. How did you... Hold on a second. Let me just... What did you just do? I made sure that this remains a private conversation. How did you get in here? This place is a bloody fortress. I'm getting good at finding my way into impenetrable fortresses. I'm Zoe. Damien Cav... You already know who I am, which I find sort of disturbing. I told Jericho that he couldn't talk to anyone about this. Did Jericho send you? I haven't been able to contact him. Jericho's gone. Something's happened to him. But he left me enough info to locate you. He's disappeared. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. What about Rio? She went to see Jericho five days ago. Is she... Are you close? We work together. Why? What's happened? I think she's... dead. Are you serious? Oh, Jesus. I'm in way over my head in this one. I shouldn't have asked her to go. What happened to her? I don't know. I found her in Jericho's apartment. She was hooked up to this white plastic thing, and there were wires going into her head. The dreamer. What? That's what it's called. A dreamer. It's not supposed to kill you. I know. They hooked me up to one. Who hooked you up to a dreamer? Two girls. Twins. I don't know who they work for, but I'm guessing they're connected to your company. I've seen them around. They work for Miss Gilmore, the president. I think maybe they got to Rio as well. And they're after Jericho... After Reza. I was hoping he'd made it here. I haven't heard from him since Thursday. Sorry. Rio rang me when she got into Casablanca and told me she'd met with Jericho. That must have been right before... I found her in Jericho's apartment. And minutes later, the Eye raided the place. I was arrested, but they let me go the next morning. Is there anyone who isn't involved in this? This what... I decided to track Reza down in order to help him. He's my best friend. But I don't know what this is or what I've gotten myself involved in. Now Reza's vanished, and you're the only lead I have left. Can you please just tell me what this is? You don't know anything. Only what I've picked up on the way here. Reza never shares his stories with me. 
I know that Watty Corp is working on something and that they've been testing it out on people in Newport. You called it the Dreamer. I know that the Dreamer is probably connected to the static somehow and that is most likely what Reza was investigating in the first place. And I also know that Watty Corp is keen to keep all of this under wraps. Keen enough to kill people. Apart from that, I have no idea who you are, what you've told Reza, what Rio was doing in his apartment, and what this dreamer thing is all about. So you're going to have to fill me in, and I'm not leaving here until you do. I've come too far to go back now. If I can't help Reza, at least I want to know why. I want the truth. Right. Well, okay. I understand you want the truth. I wish I could tell you. I'm putting myself at great risk here, Zoe. I don't know who you are. For all I know, you could be working for the corporation. And then again, if you do, I'm already done for anyway, so... You're right about all of it. We, uh, Water Corp's working on something big. The Dreamer. It's a device that'll let you dream anything you've got a mind to dream. Lucid dreams. You're awake and in control. Can you just imagine the possibilities? Every other entertainment medium would simply disappear overnight. Why watch a movie when you can dream it? It was destined to be the biggest thing in history, and it was supposed to go on the market in a few months from now. However, about three months ago, something happened. There was a contamination in the network that connects each Dreamer console with the central processor, Dreamcore. I used to work on the network code, the parts that link the Dreamers with Dreamnet. When the problem appeared, my bosses asked me to head up the group charged with identifying the problem on this end, to weed out the bugs. What we discovered was that Dreamnet was beginning to slip out of our control. There was a contamination, but it wasn't a bug. It wasn't internal. We figured someone had hacked into the network and introduced a virus or worm, something sneaky and adaptable. It didn't take me long to realize there was a link between the static and our problems. The static wasn't the cause, it was the effect. Whatever had infiltrated Dreamnet was, for lack of a better word, leaking out onto the wire, causing glitches and system crashes. When I told my supervisors, I was instructed to not ask any questions and to just keep working on the problem. So I did what they told me, but at the same time, I started digging deeper on my own. And that's when I met Rio. She was working with the biological systems that run our code and operates Dreamnet, the central processor known as Dreamcore. She'd been digging too, and like me, she'd reached an impasse. So we started working together to identify and nail down the contamination. We figured that sooner or later the static would be traced back to Watercorp, and then we'd be out of a job. Besides, it was getting serious. People were dying. So we kept digging, and then one day... About a week ago, we discovered something that changed everything. We discovered the truth behind Project Altura, behind Dreamnet, behind the Dreamers. Wadi isn't making these things to entertain people. They're making them to spy on and to control people. Dreamnet was designed to record people's dreams. Dreamcore was designed to analyze them. Wadi Corp can extract private and personal information about anyone who's ever been connected to a Dreamer. And that's just the beginning. By feeding data back through the dreamer, they can plant thoughts, instructions, even hypnotic suggestions in people's heads. Dreamnet is the biggest brainwashing experiment of all time, disguised as mindless entertainment. And now someone's hacking into it. What? Uh, Oh, right. Exactly. Someone's trying to take control of the network, the most dangerous weapon of all time. Rio and I, we realized we had to tell someone. But we also knew that the corporation would do anything to protect their secret. If we went to the media, we'd be dead. We had to find someone with the guts to expose Wadi, while protecting our identities. The hand that bites. Who better to expose this conspiracy than Jericho and his notorious feed? We knew he wouldn't be afraid to go up against Watercorp. So we got in touch, and then Rio went over to Casablanca to meet him. She brought a, a prototype dreamer with her to prove we weren't crazy. We knew the risk, but what else could we do? And now... I I can't believe Rio's dead. And Jericho. I'm afraid that if nothing's done, this'll keep escalating. 
The static will get worse. Dreamnet will be hijacked or, or the corporation will launch the dreamer. Anywhere you turn it, it's bad. Real bad. This is... And you're sure about this, Damien? It sounds like... like science fiction. The people behind it seem to believe that it's possible. And the dreamer works. I've tried it many times. It's incredible. Like nothing you've ever experienced. But to know that they have free access to your innermost thoughts. I won't use it again, that's for sure. Not with everything I know now. Is there anything you can do to stop it? I don't know. I've been thinking about it since I first realised what was happening. The static's starting to kill people. And if the dreamer launches, I... I, I, I don't want to think about what might happen then. So yes, something can probably be done, but I can't do it by myself. The plan was for Rio to help me when she got back from Casablanca. I don't know who else to trust, so I'm a bit stuck. You can trust me. Yeah, I know, but you're not... I, I can't just ask you. Why would you want to help? Why? How can I not help? I may not be any closer to finding Reza... But at least I can do my part in exposing this conspiracy. It's too dangerous. You could get caught. Or worse. If you knew what I'd been through these past few days, you wouldn't say that. Whatever it is you need me to do, I'll do it. Are you sure? Damien, we don't have a choice. This is what Reza was doing. He was taking a stand. He was risking his life to expose Watty Corp. I can't run away from this one. I have to do this. For Reza. For everyone. For myself. Sounds like you've really thought this one through. Okay, if you're sure. I'm sure. Well, you've definitely arrived in the nick of time. If we're doing this, we have to do it now. Just tell me what we're doing. I'm ready. Okay, good. So we need evidence. We need to know where the intrusion is coming from. And we need to stop the static from causing any more damage. So how do we do all that? I have to stay here. This is the only place I can access the system from. You, on the other hand... You're going on a long hike into the Wati Caves. From the time I open this door, you have 30 minutes to make it down to minus 58. That shouldn't be too hard. At least you don't have to go up. Yet. I'm fit. You definitely look it. Okay, one moment. All right, Zoe. So you know what to do. I go down to sub-level 58. In exactly half an hour from now, you'll disengage the alarm. And I'll open the door. Remember that once you're through... The door will be tagged for maintenance by the security systems. If you open it again before the schedule of time, we're screwed. I got that. And the rest of it? I got it. All of it. Good. Keep in mind that I can't call you while we're inside the building, so we won't be in touch until this is over. Best of luck, Zoe. Thanks, Damien. You too. Still a few minutes left. I have to wait. First off, keep an eye out for spiders. If they spot you, you're toast. Use doorways and ventilation shafts to hide in when they're close. Stay quiet and out of sight, and you'll be fine. All right. So in order to get into the dream core itself, you need to find a way into the offices surrounding the core room. And to do that, we have to cut the power to the doors. I can shut down the necessary grids if you can patch me into the closed circuit system down there. 
Locate and remove the wall panel marked PSA1 and upload the software I gave you directly into the system. The panel is on the outer wall of the hallway, on the opposite side of where you come in, close to the doors to subsection 2. Maybe hard to spot, so keep your eyes open. And remember to keep your eyes and ears open for spiders. I want you back in one piece. something in that wall. There's a sliding panel here and it's marked PSA1. That's the one. I'll just upload Damien's software into the closed circuit system. There. That should allow him to shut off the power to the office doors. As soon as you upload the patch, I'll be able to shut off the power to the doors. After that, you should be able to get into the offices. Unfortunately, the door to the core room itself will still be locked. It operates on its own secure grid, and the only way to get into the core is to use an authorised access key. We'll get to that later. Now, you need to scan the bioworm I gave you, and before you can do that, you'll need to place it in a special capsule. You'll find those capsules in the laboratory just down the hall from the panel. After inserting the worm into the capsule, you'll need to scan it. You'll also need to scan yourself. The scanners, with my remote assistance, will upload both yours and the worm's DNA into the DreamCore's guardware. This will allow you access through the airlock. Both scanners are located in the med lab. It's a small biometric scanner. Put your specimen in a capsule, stick it in there, and it reads all the relevant biometric data. DNA and cellular composition of biological entity analyzed and cleared for entry and insertion into core. It's a full body scanner. It reads all my biometric data and uploads it to the system. D9 
DNA and cellular composition analyzed. After you've scanned both the worm and yourself, you need to locate a key to the core room. The security officer in shift won't be in his office. I'll make sure of that. But Rio told me they always keep a spare key around. That's in blatant violation of security procedures, but it makes our job a lot easier. You'll need to search the security offices to find it. The security in this office is pretty heavy. I'll need to do exactly what Damien told me to do. The security office has an isolated grid that isn't connected to the building systems. If it's on, I'm afraid you're going to have to disengage that too. It can be switched off from the inside by one of the security spiders. Check the cybernetics office. There should be an extra spider in there. Use the software I uploaded to your mobile to control it remotely. Inside the security office, there'll be a dock where the spider can access the local grid. The spider you'll be controlling won't have the right security clearance, however, so you'll need to find a way to upgrade its clearance. If you fry one of the patrolling spiders and download its clearance, you should be able to dock with the security office grid. Damien said that I can control a spider remotely with the software he put on my mobile. stupid enough to leave a data key in, in the jacket pocket. Yes, idiots. When you found the spare key in the security office, use it to enter the core room. We need to get the worm into the dream core. Once that's done, I can start pulling information from the core to my console. To get to the core, you must pass through the airlock and a decontamination process. And don't worry, it's perfectly harmless. From this point on, you'll need to be vigilant. There's a team on duty in the core room, most likely two or three scientists. They'll be preoccupied, however, so you should be able to sneak past them. If they spot you, they'll trigger the alarm and you'll be fried, literally. Go to the lower platform. That's where you'll find the injection tube. Insert the capsule with the worm into the tube, push the button, and the worm will do the rest.
After that, all you need to do is stay low and get out as fast as you can. I'll cut the alarm to the fire exit at the agreed time, so be there. If anything should go wrong, you'll need to find another way out on your own. I hope this key is active. a living, breathing creature. And in a way, it is. something in that wall. her down. The core is definitely reacting to external stimuli. But what? This doesn't look like the normal spikes. And there's absolutely no activity on Dreamnet. What's eating her? Good question. Whatever it is, it's serious. I've never seen her like this. Uh-oh. Guess who decided to pay us a little visit? Gilmore. None other. She's probably here for another status report. Why can't she just be happy with the daily briefings from the chief? Don't say anything stupid, okay? I don't fancy getting fired just because you shoot your mouth off to her. She is the boss. And what idiot gave her that job? She has absolutely no qualifications at- Shh! Miss Gilmore, what an unexpected honor. May we help you with anything? I thought I'd come down here to check on the progress myself. Why are there only two of you here? It's Sunday evening. The team can't work 24 hours a day. They'll start making mistakes and... We're on shifts, Miss Gilmore. 
Dr. Lee and I have the call until tomorrow morning. Shifts? We're four months away from launch, everything's gone to hell, and your team's working shifts. People can take the day off when this crisis has been resolved. If Alchera doesn't launch as planned, you'll all be fired. I don't think you... I couldn't care less what you think. That's not what I pay you for. I pay you to find out who's fucking with my project. We're working on that. But it's been a difficult day. There have been spikes, and the leakage is getting worse. Meaning what? There have been fresh outbreaks of static interference across the wire, coinciding with violent fluxes in Angana. What sort of fluxes? Both physical spasms, like... like nervous twitches, and, and, and bursts of pure energy, and, and data. Hugely, hugely complex bursts of data. It doesn't make sense, but Angana appears to be... How shall I put this? Expanding, okay? There's, there's, there's more data inside it than it can physically store. How is that even possible? It really isn't. That's also why it's overloading, creating spikes that travel at the speed of light into the wire. If it keeps expanding... We might theoretically be able to shut it down. But we don't know what consequences that might have, both to the project and to the wire. It could be catastrophical. Everything connected to the wire, and I mean everything, could conceivably be affected. It's not an option. Disregarding the possible effects to the wire, if there's any chance the project's timeline will be thrown off, it's unacceptable. You'll have to identify the problem and isolate the intrusion into the system. Now, I want a detailed breakdown of what your team's doing and when I can expect to see concrete results. Can we stabilize the Dream Corps? For short periods of time, which gives us a window to test DreamNet. Angana has responded positively to direct infusions of Morpheus. All right. Walk me through the process. him, the man I've been following. I haven't seen any other boats here. I'll need to find some other way to get to the other side. One of those creatures uh, sang to the door, and it opened up. Magic. You gotta love it. That creature didn't touch the door. It just opened, as if by magic. So magic, then. Always with the magic. It's a panel with three stone buttons. Maybe it's a kind of archaic magical keypad. That's 
it, the combination needed to open the door. This doesn't look like any of those creatures walking around. It must be a different species. For some reason, I don't think these symbols were created by the creatures that live here now. I keep thinking I've seen a creature like this before. Where? Could this be the ancestor of a species in Arcadia? like this before. Where? Could this be the ancestor of a species in Arcadia? I've seen a creature like this before. Where? Could this be the ancestor of a species in Arcadia? It's a sarcophagus. There's something glowing in there, and I can hear a ticking sound. There's a glowing object in there. And is that... ticking? It sounds like clockwork.
by the balance. What is this place? It's like, like a million voices or dreams trapped, stored. to step up the testing soon if we hope to get enough data to go by. The limited trials have wielded interesting results, but a few hundred subjects won't exactly tax the system. I understand. And you think the Dream Corps will be able to handle that? She'll have to, Miss Gilmore. There's no question that I'm gonna... What's that? I'm not... Wait. There's been a sudden surge of energy inside DreamNet. I don't know if it's emanating from the core or from some externals. The core room will go into lockdown. You need to get out of here, Miss Gilmore. Or you'll be stuck until the facility's been cleared and DreamNet checks for intrusions. And that could take the whole night. But... Uh... We need to get you out of here, Miss Gilmore. Right now. You two are staying put. I want a full update once the lockdown has been lifted. Yes, Miss Gilmore. Be advised that lockdown will go into effect soon. And security has been called in to do a full sweep of the facilities. Lockdown will commence in T minus 60 seconds. Please evacuate the core. The core room is entering lockdown. Please step away from all entrances. This is your final warning. The core is under lockdown. Please proceed to the nearest, ele- nearest elevator to vacate the premises. Lockdown is in effect. All non-essential personnel must vacate the core immediately. All Please right, boys, move to out. The nearest elevator. You two head in that direction. Well, and you're with me. We'll head the other way and we group on the other side. Go! And report to their assigned security station immediately. Do a sweep of that office. Yes, sir. to do. She doesn't need to be saved. Save me. 